what's up guys how's it going I'm gonna go over very briefly on uh, some tips on how to draw a flower and just a general flower right now I'm gonna do another one where I'm gonna be talking about uh, the rose specifically but for right now I'm just gonna be talking about general flowers real quick and um, the way I tend to handle flowers um, in any given statement I usually think of I usually split them up into two I think of the kind of uh, radiating ones kind of like sunflowers things like that especially stuff that's facing you let me see, is that, okay, that's coming out okay. You know, this kind of shape, you've seen that, right, as a kid? Oh, no, it's all crooked on that side. You've seen that, right? Stuff like sunflowers, depends on how many petals they have. Or, or I break them up into that kind of rose thing where they wrap around, the petals all kind of wrap, I don't know how to say this, but like around a cylindrical object. You know what I mean? And those petals will wrap like, you know, kind of like almost lettuce, something like that. But let's take this flower for instance. I know there are flowers like as simple as that, but I don't like that, you know what I mean? So what I usually try to do is I try to like overlap them in the back here. Just try, I try to make some overlapping happen. You know, I think it is more natural. And uh, let's go into this one real quick. And I think of these as like little tongue pieces, you know, because there's going to be some bunching as they, they gra clasp on to the, uh, the center portion, especially with sunflowers. So try to do that. I give this a little bit of depth by putting a little bit of shadow here, you know, it's got to be some kind of uh, depth to it. I mean, there doesn't have to be, but I, I just want there to be. And, uh, yeah, I want there to be some sort of depth, some kind of roundness to it. And uh, what else am I thinking about? Yeah, just kind of remembering that. The center portion is also going to have some sort of depth to it. Even though it is round and it, it perceivingly looks flat, I'm going to treat it like it's like a round little button. You know? Yeah, even that, that petal's a little bit too big. And I'm going to be thinking about the light hitting it. You know, where's it going to be hitting it from and what angle, that kind of thing. You know what I mean? I'm going to draw actually all the petals on first so I get the, uh, the idea down first. Oh, snap. See that that's that pedal's gigantic. That's too much. And I'm gonna be going over each one of these things, you know, kind of pulling out this radiating radiating shape, you know, this kind of bunching toward where a class is. Not that much bunching actually. It's really just grabbing onto. Yeah, it's really just grabbing onto the side, but I don't, I don't really see it as very uh, very crunchy toward the end. Very bunchy, even where it attaches. It's kind of bunching, but not, not a lot. You know, so these are pretty simple. I'm just going to do this really quick to kind of give you an idea of, uh, you know, that kind of thing. But remember that, like I said, overlapping. They overlap over each other, these petals. The petal itself is really, like I said, literally... It's probably this flat surface petal, you know, if you look at it from the side. If you look at a flower petal right from the right side of it.
So anyways, that's just like a radiating petal, like for that kind of flower, I usually do that. I like the overlapping. Um, thinking about the, you know, the, the petals kind of grasping on to the edge, you know. Never, th never thinking too flatly about it. I gotta think in 3D in a way. Um, in terms of these, yeah, I imagine that flower, but closed. You know what I mean? Think of like a sunflower closed up. And so because of that, you're going to have uh, whatever kind of flower this is, whether it be rose or whatever. It's going to be the same kind of flower except bunched together. Because of that, they're going to be, they're going to wrap around each other, you know? And there's really no way to, there's really no other way to say that, really. They will just imagine that one closed up. Think about like, I almost think about them as bunches of paper, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? And then um, I think of it, overall, it's, again, it's very similar to like lettuce or something like that, where it becomes this one, it, since they're bunched together, it becomes one object. And because of that, I kind of shade them as one object. But then I take into account their divisions after that. I'm like, okay, cool. There's going to be a division here. You know what I mean? Um, that's just the idea of it. I'm going to do a full-blown uh, rose demonstration in the next video, so watch for that. But remember, any, like I said, type of flower in that way that bunches up, it's going to be it's gonna be one layer over the next, over the next, over the next, over the next. Just imagine paper crushed together. Not crushed, but smished together. And uh, this one, again, it's like that radiating one. Just take into account the, where it attaches. That's very important. Very similar to hair, where hair attaches to the skull. That's a very quick idea of the flower. Um, like I said, uh, let me know what you want to know specifically about it, and I'll teach you. So we'll talk later. And like the video if you learn anything. And um, thanks a lot, guys. See you later.